What's up traders? It's your boy Jay and we are looking at USD JPY, the yen right now. So today I haven't done anything on crude oil. So I figured, hey, I didn't do nothing on crude. Why not make a video breaking down some currencies, right? So what we're looking at today is the yen um, and let me pull up my group chat because um, I made a call this morning I made a call this morning with the levels that you should be looking out for today or the levels I'm looking out for today um, and that was right here okay so these are the, this is the zone I was looking at which is what you see right on this side if you look on the right side where my mouse is, this is the value area from March 14th, okay? So this is this is where a lot of the volume um, was traded at for this time period. So this is actually a few time periods in into one, right? So this is actually the 14th and 15th combined, um, and you get this level, right? So that's merge this is a distribution area okay so this is a market profile chart um and this analysis works for any market okay so i'm using it to my advantage um and let's see how it kind of played out so this is these are what call what i call hypos or what we call hypos right so what um what are you expecting it to do right uh what what are you looking for um, for the session? Okay, so that's that's all a hypo is. And my hypos, as you could see, oh shit, as you can see, my hypos were one, look for a breakout above 11, 111.660 to get long, right? As you can see in this picture, wait for it to break above, retest, get long, boom. Um, or look for a breakout below 111450 to get short. Same thing. Wait for the breakout, pull back, boom. Um, and here's some targets for both. Um, shorts will have lower targets at 111285. Almost happened there, um, but not a lot of opportunity to get involved here. Let's break it down. Let's look at a five minute chart. Yeah, this thing, once it broke that support from overnight, it just fell right through it, right? Um, and our target, oh, so close. 10, 10 pips away um, on this one. So there's actually not a lot of opportunity to get involved here. As you can see, it kind of dropped really fast through that support. And we, like I said, we wanted to wait for a pullback in order to get in. Um, but we did not get that pullback until right now. Right now it is 2.10 p.m. And it looks like we're finally getting that pullback. So these could be good sh a good short opportunity right now at this 111450 uh, level. And literally with the target right here to 111, 285, right? Nothing crazy. Just looking for a nice almost 20 pips. Um, cause if you can keep catching these moves consistently, you know, you're just going to up your lot size and keep trading these same plates. Okay. Well, that's what I would do. At least that's what I'm doing. Um, so what happened, what happened overnight? Let's check it out. Let's go back to 15 minutes. So I guess we kind of saw this, not, I guess we kind of saw this, uh, head and shoulders pattern forming last week. So this was, uh, the 14th going into the 15th, so Thursday, Friday, head and shoulders pattern. Um, and then overnight and yesterday, Sunday, um, we accepted into this value area from 111.66 to 111.450, right? So we accepted into the zone, traded in between, and we finally got that breakout today. So we got the breakout lower, we're getting the re retracement the retest right now that 11 111 450 god it's so annoying saying 111 111 but uh yeah we're getting that retest now 
which could be a nice uh, breakout pullback opportunity towards this 111.285. And then if it accepts into this area, you know, we'll have a target down here, 111.30, right? Um, so that was the euro. I mean, that was the, the yen. So yeah, that's, that's the breakdown of today's currencies. Thank you.